big day. Realization of a dream. More hard work than a lot of players ever do. But he has a dream and he has a goal, so you know, it takes a lot of hard work to get where he wanna get. He just don't wanna be a college basketball player. He wanna be a pro. This is just step one in that process um, of, of him fulfilling his dream of becoming a pro. Are you ready? You got everything down, what you gonna say? Whatever they ask me, I'm just gonna answer. Mama asked me the same thing. I'll be I, that job just be coming to me to answer. Ben keep texting. That's nice right there. <laughs> yeah, Ben gonna call it, we calling ourselves the Killer Bees. Killer Bees? Yeah. Hey, Reg, when you get to the wild world of sports, are we just going up by the milk house and stuff? Does Coach Reese and all them know that? Does Coach Reese know to do that? We, we about to pull up in like 10 minutes. Bro, that's uh, yeah, feel real good, get it over with. Feel real good, get it over with. You know, I know it's just one, it's just one step of my journey. And I know it's not it, you know, it's big. But at the same time, you know, it's just a little bit of what I want to do, you know. I got, I got a big goal and a big dream, so it's just, this, this right here is just step one. You know, still making it to college, getting out there, doing well, you know, stuff like that. It's all stuff, all kind of stuff I want to do. Yes, sir. A little bit, I'm good. <laughs> killer bees. Yeah, killer bees, <laughs> baby. All right. Well, feel, feel comfortable with that? Oh, there you are. He said he can hear me. He can hear you? Yes, yes. I will be attending LSU. Uh, really just because, you know, my relationship with the coaches and the plan they have for the program. You know, they've only been there a few years and, you know, it's up and coming. You know, it's a really a football school right now, but they're trying to change the culture, culture there. And I just really want to be a part of that. That's something I would love to be a part of. They factored in a lot just because, you know, I know how, how good he is and how uh, good he can make a team and me and him together, you know, can really take a lot of stress off each other on the court. So that, that had a lot to do with it. We have good chemistry on and off the court. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we did this the whole time. Congratulations. <laughs> Watching uh, Antonio Blatney kill it for Oak Ridge. Going to LSU and playing with him is definitely going to be uh, exciting because he likes to shoot, I like to pass. So it's a system he points for him. Since I came to Orlando, playing AAU with him, I built a relationship with him, so we're good friends now. Him decommitting from uh, Louisville was big for me because, you know, I want to play with a guy like him who can shoot the ball, but also who just wants to win, so it's big. But he's a worker. He, he wants to win. That's my goal, just to win. So being together a lot at LSU is going to benefit both of us because we're just going to be working the whole time we're there. Hey, you gotta come out uh, Saturday. We play Friday at home. All right. There's a lot of students in there already. Uh, yeah. The side already. Passed. It's really an honor, you know, to win the Florida men's basketball, just because you know, in history, all the great players who has won, and just for me to be able to go down to history with all those players, you know, like Austin Rivers, Brandon Knight. You know, Joel, Barry, all those guys, you know, it's just a blessing. So it's a real blessing for me to even have the opportunity to win the Mr. Basketball. So we're going to start in about five minutes. I really want to thank my school, my coaches, all my teammates, family, friends, and fans, you know, just for making it possible for me, you know, to keep me motivated, to keep me on the right path, keep me working hard. So I really want to thank them because without them, you know, this wouldn't even be possible. Beginning of my junior year, I wanted to win Mr. Basketball and win it this year. I wanted to be able to say I won basketball two years straight. But uh, my junior year, Joe Barry ended up winning the Mr. Basketball. So, you know, that kind of hurt me, but he deserved it. He had a great, you know, his great senior year and he won states and stuff like that. Me going into this year, 
you know, in the beginning of the year, I was like, you know, I, I can't leave high school, you know, without winning a state championship and winning Florida Mr. Basketball. So I accomplished one of those goals. One, you know, I didn't, obviously, we fell short. We didn't win the uh, state championship, but we did win. I did win Mr. Basketball, so that's good for me. I've been at Oak Ridge since the end of my sophomore year. And, you know, ever since I've been here, it's been great. You know, they've been leading me in the right direction, you know, not just on the court, but off the court, making sure I go to class, making sure I do all the right things to become a better person, to become a better player, to become a better man, you know. Thank you all for everybody for today's presentation to honor the Florida Dirty Farmers 2015 Mr. Basketball, the highest honor of Hawaii High School basketball player in the state of Florida. Thank you, Mr. Farmers. Mr. Basketball Award to Oak Ridge High School's Antonio Blakeney. recognized as the best basketball player in the state of Florida. And for him to get this award uh, means a lot to him. It's something that he takes serious. He doesn't come in the gym and play around. He works every time he's in this gym. And um, you know, it's a great award. To be the first player ever in Oak Ridge history to be Mr. Basketball uh, is something that uh, he can cherish for the rest of his life. My lady's with Dr. Bradshaw is great. You know, she's, she's my principal. But more than my principal, she's like, you know, a friend to me, a mentor to me. You know, me and her talk all the time. She'll call me in her office just to see you know, how, how am I doing or tone, you know, what your grades looking like, you know, just keeping me intact, you know, making sure I'm doing the right thing, making sure I got my head on straight. What is going to be important to us is that he is going to have a great career, but he's going to finish his college education and then be very successful as an individual. So not only going to college on a scholarship, but pursuing his dream of the NBA, graduating from college and being a true role model for all kids to finish their education. Sometimes she'll also take me to like other schools to talk to the kids. We've been approached a couple of times and Antonio's had the opportunity to go and speak to some middle school students that maybe were not on track or didn't have their goals and priorities straight and just having someone like Antonio coming over to talk to them and to give them a few words of wisdom and maybe say that things haven't always been perfect in his life but exactly what he has done is to show them that they can change their path and they can make a difference in their future but it starts with them and working hard and being a part of a team and so he's truly been an inspiration to a lot of students in our area and i like doing it you know i like going to the other schools and talking to kids you know just telling them about my path telling them my story and just telling them the same thing can happen for them if they work hard you know what means a lot to me is the reaction I get from the kids, you know, they really listen to me and they really take what I say in consideration. You know, a lot of people talk, talk, talk all day, but when I actually, when I talk to these kids, they actually listen to me. Because I'm a role model to a lot of people, a lot of people are watching what I'm doing. Definitely my little brother, you know, every day he's watching what I'm doing. So I got to make sure I'm doing the right things. I'm not doing nothing that will make somebody else be like, oh, look what Antonio is doing. I want to go do that. So if someone does do that, I want them to be doing the right thing. He's just an amazing kid. Since he's come to Oak Ridge, he has had such a positive attitude and a work hard attitude. And I've really enjoyed getting to know him over the past two years. Um, he is a genuinely sweet, kind hearted individual, but he also has a lot of goals and he's gonna work hard and be successful. And so that means a lot too, because he is that true role model for not only the Oak Ridge kids, but our community and our feeder pattern and all of Orange County Public Schools. All the expectations I have for myself, and as good as I think I am, I, it takes hard work. You know, it's no way around. I gotta work hard. It's all about eating. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even if you're a homeless person on the corner, like going to the people's cars and getting money to eat, to, to do whatever. There's not enough food out there for everybody. What are you going to do different than the next man to get that food that you want? Be different every day, you know. As I'm being great, I have to be different to be great. You know, I'm really trying to be different than the next man. I can't be like you and then want the same thing as you, you know what I'm saying? And both of us going for the same thing, I got to do something different to separate myself, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I try to do every day. Oh!